how, how do people in China use a keyboard, right? Because the keyboard's on our computers. It has the 26 letters of the um, what we would call the English alphabet. But um, Chinese has thousands of characters. So how in the world um, would they would they take those thousands of characters and somehow use a keyboard to type those characters in? I used to imagine that there would be thousands and thousands of keys. But there isn't, and it's really not that difficult. Um, if you're using a Mac, what you need to do first of all is to enable um, Chinese input. And so you've seen I've gone into um, system preferences here. I'll go backwards and show you that again. And then I go into language and text, and then into input sources. And these are the different, different ways you can, um, different languages you can input into the keyboard. I'm going to click Chinese Simplified. Okay? And then you notice that it automatically said show input menu in, in the menu bar. All right? And that's that flag right there. And so if I want to type in uh, English, I'll use the American flag. But if I want to type in Simplified Chinese, and it's called Pinyin. Okay, and pinyin is just the name given to uh, the romanized spelling of Chinese words. And so I'm going to select pinyin. Okay, and then I can close out my system preferences. And I have a note here that says, I want to drink a cup of coffee. To say that in Chinese, this is what it would sound like. All right, 我想喝一杯咖啡. And you'll, you'll notice that these are not Chinese characters. What this is, this is called pinyin. And it's the um, Romanized spelling of the um, Chinese language. All right. So in other words, it's using what we call our English alphabet to spell out um, phonetically how the characters sound. All right. So, but we want to learn how to type in Chinese. And so I've enabled uh, this this up here to give me simplified pinyin. And first, I need to type out the sound for I. All right. And the sound for I is wo, so I'm going to type in W O. And it gives me several choices. All right. What it's going to do is it's going to give me the six most likely characters that it feels I'm looking for, the computer feels I'm looking for. And if those six aren't it, I can drop that down and I can even click more here. And what this is sh showing me is that every one of these characters is pronounced W O. All right, but I only want one of them, and the computer's right. I want the first one, and so I'm going to. I can either click on this or I can select the number one. All right, and then it types that in. And then it's going to guess what my second character might be. All right, but none of these are what I want. I want to have the character that says xiang, which means want. All right, so I'm going to type in xiang, and again, the first one is correct. Okay. So I'm going to select number one again. And then I want to type in he, he. Again, look at that. It's right. And now I'm going to type in, that's funny. It says 我想喝. This first guess right here is actually the character for alcohol. So it's guessing that I want to type that I want to drink alcohol. Uh, the second guess is water. The third guess is tea. All right, none of those are correct. I want to drink a cup of coffee. So I'm going to write eBay, which is the Chinese translation as of a cup. So eBay. All right. Now, again, number one is correct. And so I'm going to select one. And so you can see that the computer is pretty smart. It does have the ability to guess, and a lot of times it, guess, it guesses correctly. Now I'm going to type in coffee. And in Chinese, you say cafe. And uh, look at that, it even has a picture that I could put down, okay? But number one is correct, and so I'm going to again type number one, all right? And then I'll put a period at the end of the sentence. Now, when you're typing along in Chinese, you might think, wow, that looks really slow. But actually, it can go pretty fast because you can type in this whole phrase, 我想喝一杯咖啡, and the computer should guess correctly what I want to type. 我想喝一杯咖啡. Cafe, okay. Well, she on her eBay cafe, and it's correct. And so I type number one, push my period, and that's the end of the sentence. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, 再见. All right, and that means goodbye.